Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LGJim007, and today we're looking at the Auto Cell Chest plugin. So this is a really awesome plugin that allows you to put these chests down, which every X amount of time will sell all the items in the chest for money, and then you can obviously spend it in the server shop or whatever you may have. Now this is an add-on for the Economy Shop GY plugin that we covered last week. So these two work great in tandem together. So I've got a couple of chests here. You can have a single or a double one. And all you need to do is put some sort of item inside. And then I've set it to 10 seconds. So this is going to have happen rather quickly. And then it will sell it. And you can have a message in chat if you want. And you can see those two sands sold for $3. So what we can actually do is left click one of these to get a GUI up. Now there's a few things in here. There's the chest info, so it says who the owner is, the location, the chest ID, and then the next sell interval. And then if we were to look on the left, it says the total amount of items that has been sold. Down here we have the chest settings, so do we want the items to be logged or not, yes or no. And then over here it says the total amount of money you've made from selling items in the chest. And the cool thing is you can actually pick it up. So if you wanted to move it for whatever reason, you wouldn't just destroy it, you could just simply put it elsewhere. And then there is a cool little particle effect and even a boss bar that occurs when you use it. Now the same stuff is going to be true for this one. Now if we do forward slash auto sell chess and then help, that's going to show us all of the commands. Now there's not too many, there is the reload command if you change the amount of time. And then there is the give command, so this is how you actually give yourself uh, one of these chests and then each player is limited to five by default however they could change that if they wanted to so if we want to get rid of one we can do the auto cell chest remove while looking at one and that will be another way to break it if you want final thing we can do is the auto cell chest and view and then your name so if you ever lose them or want to see any information about them you can see the coordinates here and the item sold which ones are doing the best and that is how you can keep track. So as you can see, a super simple plugin in-game. We're going to head over to the config file and see what we can change in there. So here we are on the SM Picnic control panel. If we jump into the auto cell chess folder, you can see there's a database, a language file. So if we have a look in here, this is just stuff that's going to pop up in chat. I think that looks quite nice. You don't need to change that if you don't want to. But if we go into the config file, you can see up at the top here is the interval. So make sure you put a number and then either day, hour, minute, seconds. Obviously you don't want it to be doing it too often, um, so maybe you could set that to maybe an hour or something, so it's not constantly doing it because then it could lag if you have maybe 200 people. And then how many do you want per player? At the moment it's five. And then will it sell if the owner is not online? So if I logged off, it wouldn't sell anymore. This could be helpful in reducing any server lag that may occur. Then we've got the chest name and law for when you have it in your inventory. Then there's a visual effect when you place a cell chest. So do you want an action bar, the boss bar, or just none? And then the color of it as well. Scroll down a little bit, we've got the sound effects, the volume and the pitch. And then do you want to be logging the messages? Do you want to enable the messages to be sent to a player when something gets sold? So this is the plugin that you need to have in order for it to work, Economy Shop GUI. I covered this last week, it's a great plugin. But here we are on this Spigot page, you can see it's updated from 1.16 to 1.19. Here are the commands and permissions, as you can see this is the only requirement. And then it's a very well made plugin, works really well and is just very handy to have so you don't have to keep manually selling stuff. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serviner.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.